Hey, hello everybody. Definitely um, good afternoon. I hope um, that all of you guys um, are doing uh, well. Um, I am doing well. I'm excited um, about um, the upcoming um, weekend. I'm excited about that. Um, I have a basketball tournament know uh, tomorrow and then that will complete basketball you know the season's um not that long and um you know because you know people have jobs things like that that kind of stuff so um you know it's not that long and it's not repetitive or anything like that so it you know it gives me something to do and and stuff and uh i'm excited uh, to be playing um basketball um tomorrow it's going to be so much fun um church definitely had a good time there um, good afternoon um, to everybody um, that's joining on this live feed it is beautiful this afternoon outside um, no clouds in the sky nice you know nice blue skies it feels good outside um, you know 71 degrees um, you know on the balcony uh, in the shade pretty nice this afternoon it feels good today um, Broadway Church, um, we, um, had a good service last night, it was definitely fun, you see me there standing, standing in front of the sign, um, I like Broadway Church, um, and what they do and what they continue to do for people, um, they've been around again for over 100 years, I like what they do, I try to take good pictures to kind of, you know, bring stuff to life so that people can and uh, I am outside playing, you're outside playing, uh, you're outside playing, that's what's up, it's nice to be outside right now, I'm on the balcony, I'm right there with you, it's very nice right now to be um, outside, and that's not bragging about the weather or any of that kind of stuff, I'm not, um, I'll reiterate that, I'm not bragging about the weather, because when you've been in the house for over a week, and then, you know, the month, you know, the week before that, we had ice and stuff like that. When I was in Dallas, it was horrible. You know, we had ice on the roads, and then we, you know, the things were were at a crawl out here. It was horrible, and then uh, accidents, and you know, and stuff like that. So the reason that I, I post the weather because uh, hell, I'm happy when it's sunny outside. I'm I'm, you know, I'm joyful um, when it's sunny outside. You know what I'm saying? You can open the windows. And, you know, with temperatures like it is today, you don't even have to run any air conditioner. Um, the only time really I run the air conditioner is if it's, you know, again, if it's above 80 degrees, um, I turn the air on, you know, because uh, but it's beautiful right now um, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Hell, to do anything you want to, anything. Tomorrow, um, you know, God willing, we'll have a basketball tournament. Um, you know, last week, you know, last, it's just Saturday, we had rain. It rained all day. So, you know, I am happy when it is bright and sunny and joyful outside. It is what it is today, and it's very nice and um, just uh, a good day to get out and do anything. Uh, I saw some folks earlier today riding bikes and that kind of stuff along uh, the sidewalks and whatnot. Some folks were out riding Fort Worth. <laughs> Uh, now has all these bikes that you can pay for. Um, you know, they are trying to become more bike friendly in the Dallas Fort Worth area. I wouldn't dare ride a bike out here. I have no desire to ride a bike in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, people do not slow down. They do not look out for you. They, none of that. So I just don't have any desire to ride a bike um, in this area. You know, this is Texas. You know, it. you know. I don't know. I've seen people ride bikes. It's a beautiful day to do that. I, I, not me. That's not my thing. I don't. I'm, I'm not really interested in riding bikes, especially you know as I get older. I'm just not into all that. Um, but last night's service at the church, I tell you what, it was fantastic. I really enjoyed um, our service last night. Um, the pastor he was talking about treating other people how you want to be treated, and that's what I try to do all the time is to treat people the way that I would like, or for those who believe in the Bible, um, 
If you believe in the Bible, then uh, the word says to also treat people the way that you would want to be treated. And so that's what I try to do um, every day and definitely be thankful for the small things in my life um, and what is given to me. I am thankful for that. And um, today I am uh, moving in a more positive direction and I, you know, and I like to do that. I think um, there's nothing wrong with being positive and having a good um, outlook on life. And um, even sometimes I, I pray on here, um, you know, for people who um, aren't as fortunate or um, who might be going through things in their lives. They all, We also talked about that um, last night at church. And so, um, it, you know, you, you listen to people's stories and um, everybody has a story to tell. And so um, I keep that kind of stuff in mind. And that is why um, I do not. Um, pick on people or mess with people or any of that stuff. I try to move my life in a positive direction because I know that um, not every day is given to you. And so that is something that, you know, we also talked about and no day is promised to anybody. No matter if you're rich, poor, or indifferent, no day is promised to you, uh, say it the Lord, no day is. And so um, I understand that. And um, that's why I try to live my life and I try to be happy because overall, if you if you live your life and you and you're happy, uh, it does not matter um, about how much money you have. And a lot of times I listen to some churches and places that talk about, you know, prosperity and all this kind of stuff. And that's fine. But, um, you know, um, Broadway keeps it real. Not everybody is going to be wealthy. Not everybody's going to, you know, whatever. And so that's why I like going to church or this church. Um, you know, Birchman, uh, that's another cool church. They're cool. Um, um, Fellowship Church is another church that's, you know, they're not 100 years old like uh, Broadway Church, but they offer their own uh, flavor. I would say, I'll say that that church is more like millennial oriented i guess i can say um fellowship church and that's that's cool so there's churches out here for everybody and everything um and that's the reason but broadway church um they're just different and they're different um in many levels in the way um that they that they treat people and they treat people with respect here at broadway church they do not judge you um and uh they allow homeless people to come in and a lot of churches um, they don't allow that. A lot of churches probably wouldn't, would not want a person to come in, um, with bags and they just don't allow that. So, um, you know, but Broadway church, um, they've even, um, shout out to them. They've even made their church a shelter when it was cold outside and raining. Shout out to them last week when the weather was horrible out here and people scrambled to get off the streets because the weather was getting bad out here. It was bad. And, um, you know, when the weather turns bad out here in such a way, not even with snow or ice or anything, with tornadoes, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be caught outside. You know what I'm saying? You don't you know what I'm saying? So that, so there's a lot of stuff that, um, you know, I think overall can, you know, God can help folks with, man. No matter what you go through in your life, I feel um, that God can help you with. And uh, the church stepped in and helped those people um, last week when it was uh, bad outside. Um, but this week, uh, looking forward, the weather is going to be nice. Broadway Church, um, their service for the Agape Meal is from 6 to 7 p.m. For people who want to come, um, no problem. Um, it does not matter. Uh, Broadway Baptist Church, they also... Um, have had a, a food truck in their parking lot. I think they still do that every third Wednesday of the month, and they serve, uh, I think that's ran by Tarrant Area Food Bank, and um, they just use, I think, the Broadway parking lot to have the trucks and stuff set up because they give out a lot of food um, at Tarrant Area Food Bank. So they do that, I believe, still every third Wednesday um, of the month. They also have some materials usually inside about 211 for people who um, need help. So I definitely uh, appreciate um, all the people, again, who follow me um, on social media because I, I'm, I'm trying to be, I try to be positive um, and try to have a good outlook on life. And that's what I try to do um, every day. Um, I wake up and be happy because um, a lot of times it's hard to find joy in society when you see um a lot of the things that uh, you hear about and um, even today, 
um, shots fired at a school and just different things that um, scare people and um, it's sad. And then um, also pray for the people in Dallas that uh, a lot of people, my family's okay. No one's contacted me saying that they don't have gas, but um, but um, you know, for those people in Dallas, it's it's sad. Uh, for the folks uh, who are in that area affected with no gas or they're not able to cook. So those are things that, um, you know, if you're able to cook and you're able to eat and you're able to have a meal today, then uh, you should thank God for that because a lot of those people, um, they are not going to be able to cook a meal or take a shower or a lot of stuff. So a lot of those people, uh, close to over 2,000 people, will have to either stay in hotels or with family or something like that. So definitely keep those people um, in your prayers. Um, again, everybody is welcome um, at Broadway Church. It does not matter um, how you dress. You can look like me. Yes, I'm a woman. Um, but you can dress like this and come to church. You see me standing in front of the church sign. It does not matter. So um, dress the way you want to. Um, you know, and that's how I feel that uh, God talked to everybody. It did not matter how you dressed, what you wore, whatever. Um, religion should not be about fashion week or what you look like or how you dress. Religion should be about um, worshiping, you know, God or what you choose of your choice to worship. Um, but it shouldn't be about what you dress in or how you look. Um, at least Broadway church is not like that. They, you know, um, of course, you know, you know how not to dress. You don't want to come in there with, you know, clothes with stuff hanging out, all that kind of stuff. You want to be dressed appropriately at church. Um, but with Broadway Church, uh, this is an example. That's why I post this up here because you can dress the way you want to at our church, um, and and it's fun. And you want to have go to a church that allows you to express yourself and express your feelings and talk about you know stuff that's on your mind. Um, and our church allows that, especially on Thursday nights. They have a session where um, you can write on prayer cards. Some people don't like to talk about stuff out loud. Um, and that's fine. They have that that part of it, too. But uh, Broadway Church has a little bit of something for everybody. And that's why I continue to go to Broadway Church, because, um, you know, since I've been in Fort Worth, they've been a big part um, of my life um, as far as when it comes to faith and stuff like that. Um, Broadway Baptist, um, you know, there was a church in Walks of Hatch. I don't know if it's still around. Um, I think it was called Great in My Zion. Baptist Church, something like that, um, in Waxhatchee, so that, you know, that's where I got, you know, the Baptist from, it's from that little church, and so, um, shout out to everybody, I hope that, uh, you guys are doing well, um, this afternoon, it is nice, so get out and do something, um, I saw some folks earlier today, um, they were out and about, and then on the news, they, they, I saw some people, uh, I think out on the lake or something, had a boat out there, so, I mean, it's a good day to be out, so, just, uh, be yourself. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. And um, that's that's what I try to talk about on Facebook is just things that um, that people may worry about or joyful things, you know, like church and, you know, the places I like to go and um, the things I like to participate in. And I'll continue to post those things tomorrow at the basketball tournament. I will try to get pictures as best I can, you know, if I'm not playing or what have you then I'll try to take some good pictures and get those posted up there. I do know that there are some people out there. I don't that woman on Instagram, uh, I told her to stay off my page because she said that I post too many pictures. Well, who gives a damn? You know what I'm saying? I, excuse my language, but who cares? You know, it seems it always seems that females got something to say about the way I dress. Dudes, I never again said nothing about my clothes. Women do though. And a lot of women don't like my clothes, but I don't care because women can't do nothing for me. Only a man. I'm saying, I'm saying a man. So women really can't do nothing for me. Um, but a lot of women are mean and judgmental. Not all, but they are very judgmental. Like that woman on Instagram. I don't know what her problem was, but I'll continue to post pictures because the pictures I post, they are positive and there is, there is nothing wrong with it. So... I definitely appreciate everybody, and I hope that you guys have a good day and a blessed day, and God bless y'all. I hope to see uh, the folks at church on Thursday, um, again, from the 6 to 7 uh, p.m. for uh, Broadway Church.
God bless y'all, and I hope to see you guys on Thursday, Fort Worth Titans. I will see y'all tomorrow for um, the basketball um, tournament. It is going to be beautiful um, tomorrow. I cannot wait.